for being here as usual um today i'm gonna be giving you a tour of my room as i am staying at the hard rock hotel in las vegas nevada i've been here for the past three days i came here for air cargo conference it's been great the conference ended not too long ago and i am a couple hours away from taking my flight back to jamaica so before i leave i figured i would just give you guys a tour of the room so if you're ever in vegas and you're looking for somewhere to stay you can have this as an option depending on what you see in this video you know i'll just give you a little little, little. you know every time i go somewhere i try to do a, a tour of wherever i am so here is the tour so cue the b-roll yeah. baby girl you're so damn fine no wanna know if i can hit it from behind though no. i'm sipping on you like some fine wine though no. when it's over i press rewind no. talking bands i got it Benjamin's in my pocket I prayed in my truth for some robbers And he's playing Batman Fat he's gonna rob him yeah. I got the Glock in my Robbie 17 shots, no 38 Yeah, I got the Glock in my Robbie 17 shots, no 38 My room came with two queen beds I only slept on one of them The other I kind of just used as place when I take off my clothes and I come in from the conference and I threw them on the bed but it's, they're all packed up now and of course there's a lamp here in the middle regular stuff that get in every hotel the phone the menu a little alarm clock um, those waters didn't come in the room I actually got those from the conference but yeah the headboard they are padded brown and then black and it's the same on both sides and then to this corner, there's a little chair um, that I sit in sometimes. Actually, sat there. And then there's no balcony area, but it's floor to ceiling windows, so I'm able to see outside as long as I pull the curtain. And this is what outside is looking like right now. You see, there's a pool with green water. I don't know if anybody actually goes in there. This is what the room looks like in this direction. So as I said, the beds are there. And then on this side, you have the little TV. Regular Sony TV with a little desk area. And on the right hand side here, they have the suites. I dare not touch them because I, I'm not paying for anything. The new suites and snacks and they're at a cost. Skittles for nine dollars. Snickers for nine dollars. M and M. I will pay nine dollars for M and M. Juice six dollars. Soda four dollars. Powerade six dollars. Water ten dollars. Like I will pay ten dollars for water. Mm -hmm. I have not touched anything over there, and I will continue to not touch anything over there because I don't want to pay for anything over there. And in the cupboard area here, oh, it's just internet cable thing. And then they have like a, a little mini fridge with mini alcohol and of course i have not touched anything so to move on in this direction here's a closet so that's a closet area here inside the closet was the ironing board and an iron oh there was a blanket I didn't know this and I was cold last night I didn't know they had a blanket I don't know how often they change that blanket and then in this area is the bathroom and the bathroom has this red and black type of wallpaper I mean I assume it's nice for photos I haven't taken any photos in here but yeah bathroom in there toilet and standing shower outside of that is the door so that pretty much shows you the room so guys it's honestly it's not a bad room it's a pretty decent room i mean it's not oh my god but it's not the worst ever so it's a pretty decent room so if you're ever at hard rock or if you're ever in vegas hard rock hotel is definitely a, an option i think 
Um, it has a casino in the lobby area and it's a huge hotel so there are like so many other places in the hotel to go. I haven't gone everywhere as I said. I'm gonna show you guys what the lobby area looks like. You see now this is literally the entrance to the hotel so this is where you enter to go in and you see as soon as you go in there are just slot machines everywhere. Before you even get to registration desk there's a slot machine. And there are so you walk in, registration is over there, slot machines are everywhere. It's like you have to pass all the slot machines to get to you. So this one is branded with the voice from Blake Shelton. Like everywhere there's a slot machine. Yeah. This is definitely Vegas. Um they told me it's a sim city, it's a gambling city, it's the mecca of it all and trust me it is definitely everything they said it would have been. I know there's a lot of gambling happens here now, but let me show you how much it is or how bad it is. When I got off the airplane um, when we deep plane and we're walking to one collect our bags to the bag carousel area there are slot machines in the aisleway going towards the bag carousel and when you get in that area where, the, where you collect your bags there are slot machines in there and then when you go into the park to get out there are slot machines there too you go in some stores there are slot machines and just like this hotel you go in at the entrance of the hotel and there are slot machines before you even get anywhere. I mean it was the same hotel I went to two months ago in December was in Bahamas and it was the Bahamar. They also had a slot machine area in the, the front of the hotel before you get to the rooms. So it's a, it's a thing. It is a thing. If you're into gambling, if you're into these kind of things, it is a place for you. Apparently Magic Mike shows are shown here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I wasn't able to see any because I got in Saturday night and I wasn't aware of this until yesterday. And I leave later on, so I'm, I'm gonna miss that show. Um, but yeah, they have a, a whole host of activities. When I got here on the first night, there was something happening and there were people like half naked. In Mind you know, it is it was 30 degrees at that time. And you have people in black tape around the nipples and black tape underwear and fishnet stockings and stuff like that coming from out of the 30 degrees weather into the hotel and I'm like if me cold I'm on jacket scarf gloves pants and all of these things and I'm so cold how are they not cold but it was quite festive when I just got here because there was something happening and people were dressed in the type of costumes that you see on TV whenever you're watching a show that's keeping in Vegas. That's the best way I can describe it. it. It was exactly what I saw on TV. Like it was next to nothing. It was a lot of revealing outfits. It was very cool actually. I didn't do much, get much footage of that because I wasn't sure if I was allowed to film or not. I mean that I just came and I didn't know the ropes or not. So I didn't really film. And plus I came and there was a lot of slot machines and you know usually where there's a lot of gambling, they're very tight and filming. They're, they're always very restrictive how much you can film. Cause you know, you want to film the people who are, who are winning the millions. So yeah, but Vegas has been, it's 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 memorable. I'm happy I was able to get this experience. So very happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking it through all the time, all the time, all the time. Thank you, y'all are my fam bam, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you, 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 and you. All of you that comment, all of you that hit the like button, all of you that share, all of you that subscribe, I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. By the way, is y'all liking my Russian name? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna see if I can get some cool footage to show you guys later. So, later, later, boost, later, boost, later, 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 boost.